The lead investigator in R. Kelly's ongoing trial in federal court continues his testimony today, explaining what evidence was recovered from Kelly's home and storage unit. Kelly, if you're not familiar, is charged with sex trafficking and racketeering charges. DNC's Jay Clark, he is live in New York outside of that courtroom, courthouse better yet, uh, with the latest. Dre? Tashani, good afternoon. Part of what was recovered from R. Kelly's home and a storage unit uh, that he owned were iPads and videos that prosecutors maintain provide uh, visual and audio evidence of how verbally and abusive, physically abusive he was uh, towards his former girlfriend, some of whom testified against him here at his federal trial in New York. Now, this morning, some of those recordings were played. They date back at least two of them uh, to 2008. Only members of the jury the attorneys on both sides and the lead investigator were allowed to hear them. So we can't say exactly what they heard. We only know that some of the recordings are graphic and sexually explicit. We also know that R. Kelly is seen in some of the videos, along with at least two of his accusers, who testified uh, against him in court, saying that R. Kelly did record them without their consent. We know this because prosecutors said that in court this morning. Now, there is a recording in which prosecutors say you can really hear Kelly berating and threatening one of his accusers after he believes she stole from him. And prosecutors say Kelly used the recordings to maintain control over his females. And they also say the recordings illustrate the type of physical and psychological abuse he used to exert and maintain control over the women and the girls that he was sexually involved with. Now, prosecutors had planned to call someone they identified as Jane Doe 20 to testify, but prosecutors said in paperwork that the woman really had a really bad anxiety attack, and she began to break down crying as she listened to one of the recordings uh, that she was involved with, so they decided against allowing her to testify in court. Uh, prosecutors say they plan or they at least hope to wrap up their case by the end of this week, which means that R. Kelly's defense team could actually begin uh, presenting their case before the jury as early uh, as Monday. And if, they, if things go as, as planned, uh, it's possible that the jury could actually have this case by the end of next week. R. Kelly, of course, has pleaded not guilty to racketeering and sex trafficking charges. Reporting live in New York, I'm Dre Clark for BNC. Tashani. Dre, a lot of disturbing details uh, in this case. Thank you for that report.